Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. This is going to be a very short blog. It's about the Unity Workers Union, UWU, and it is headed by Caswell Franklin. He seems to be someone that crosses all of his T's and dots all of his I's. So if he has something like the Unity Workers Union in place, it would be operational, it would be legal, and for the Barbados Revenue Authority not to recognize that he is up and running and he has over a hundred of the employees from the Barbados Revenue Authority. He has over a hundred that have joined that particular union headed by Caswell Franklin. For them not to recognize him and his union as something that is viable, something that should be at the bargaining table, I think he should. I think Caswell Franklin should seek legal recourse and get that thing all straightened out because he cannot run a union properly, especially when he has members. And that's that's the key thing, you know, the fact that members are there, the fact that people, employees from that branch of government joined UWU, that should be enough for them to recognize that particular union as some organize as an organization, a union to sit at the table and negotiate on behalf of those employees from the BRA. So I really think he should get that done legally, whatever, whatever roles he has to take to make sure that he is recognized and that he can work for the benefit of the employees from BRA who have joined his union. He needs to get it straightened out because if they're not recognizing him, that does not bear well for the people who have joined his union and in a way it could jeopardize him being looked at seriously because people are going to say well if the bra is not recognizing him why should we join and other people from other places are going to say well he's not sitting at the bargaining table so why should we join and it's jeopardizing his role as a union leader. Now, like I said, I feel as though he has all his all of his T's crossed and all of his I's dotted. And I don't know what the hang up is, but if it's personal, it can't be personal. It cannot be personal. Okay. Especially when so many of the employees from that particular revenue authority have joined. He has to be able he should be invited to sit at the table and represent over 100 employees. That is a lot. That is something that is should be respected. You cannot think that over 100 employees don't know what they're doing, that they're out of their minds. You cannot, you cannot really step to think that. So what is the hold up? Why the non-recognition? Why? Why? Okay, so I yeah, Caswell Franklin, I really think that he should take all legal recourse to make sure that what they're doing is stopped. It should be stopped. And if he has been damaged, if he has been damaged by their lack of recognition, maybe they should be punished for that too. There should be some sort of, you know, money coming to him for that too. Yeah. But you cannot sit down. You cannot sit down and take this lightly. And I'm glad that I'm seeing that court action is likely over his non-recognition as a union, especially since so many employees from the Barbados Revenue Authority has joined that particular union. This is Sherry Veronica.